Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to do a dynamic window, a window that can fit a few sizes. So we're going to do it in centimeters, and the base window will be 100 centimeters, that one meter. It doesn't matter if you do uh, in inches or meters. So basically, the way we're going to do it, we're going to do a 20 centimeters wall, and let's say uh, 3 and here another three so this will be a hundred and six and then three and three and this will be uh, the base of the window this will be the the stone that the window sit on top now we're going to do the window as well so we're just going to do offset of five and we're going to go five five and five like this there is many ways to do a window, but really it doesn't really matter. So this part is just the base. You can do any window that you like. Um, now, the second thing we're going to do, we're going to create uh, a block, and we're going to call it window. Window. I'm just going to mention, I'll put a D. Uh, the pick point, we're going to put it on the bottom left side. And that's it. And here we're going to put open, open in block editor, and this will bring us to here. So basically, we need this panel. So if you don't have this panel, you just click here, and then you have this planner panel. The way it works, you have actions and you have par parameters. So basically, we start with a parameter. We just put one from this side to this side, and basically, this means that this um, ha we're gonna have those error arrows if we want to when we want to create when we want to change the size now it's not gonna do anything because we don't have any action associated with this so now we're gonna add another uh, we're gonna add an action to associate with this uh, param parameter so just I'm gonna choose the stretch option it says select param parameter, so I'm just going to copy this one. Now it's going to ask me which point I want to use, so I'm going to use. I'm going to click on this point, and now it's going to ask me where where is the frame, which area I want to work on. So I'm just going to do a big frame around this side, and now it's going to do select objects. So I'm going to select all the object, all the all the parts on this side. Now I'm done. I'm just going to click enter and you can see now I have um, this and this indicates that now I can stretch the window. Now we have another marker here. If we don't want it, we, we can open the, the, the properties panel and here if we click on this parameter, it says here that we have number of guides. We have two. We can just put a one and this. I'll just leave it like that. Now we're going to do the same thing also for the, the width of the window. So basically again, I'm going to add a par parameter and I'm going to take from this point to this point. I'm just going to put it here. And now I'm going to select action. Again, stretch action. I'm going to click on this parameter now it's going to ask me which point. I'm going to click this point. It's going to ask me which of to create a frame. So I'm just going to create a frame like this. And to select the object, I'm going to select this object. I'm going to click enter. OK. And the same thing, I'm going to go here and cancel instead of two guide points, number of points. Now I have one point. I'm going to save this. I'm just going to save. And now I'm just going to insert my window and you can see here let's say if I want to make it fit this very simple I drag this here and I drag this here very simple and let's say I want to fit this side this will be perfect size and if I want a bigger window just gonna can stretch it up here and up here yeah, so this is it for this video. Thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe. It helps the video, and I'll see you in the next one.